Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming off of section 5.6, number 53. And here we were asked to find an equation for a rational function with the following traits. So let's start piecing this together. The first thing I see is that I have a vertical asymptote at x equaling 4. So in terms of my fraction, if I have a vertical asymptote, that means I must have a factor of x plus 4 in the denominator, and the denominator only. And then we had x equaling negative 5 was another vertical asymptote. So again, I must have a factor of x plus 5, and, in the, and it's got to be just in the denominator. Now, they also tell me I have x-intercepts at 4 and negative 6. And so that's going to tell me that in my numerator, I have an x minus 4 and an x plus 6. And then again, that's in my numerator only. It's if you have a factor, excuse me, if you have an x-intercept, those factors show up in your numerator only. If you have, let me go back to it, a vertical asymptote, these factors show up in your denominator only. And if you ever have a whole, those will show up in both your numerator and your denominator. The other thing I'm told, and let me change colors here, is that I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 7. So the only thing I haven't figured out is what is my stretch factor here. And my stretch factor will totally be related to my y-intercept in this, not my y-intercept, my horizontal asymptote, excuse me, in this case. Because if we were to go ahead and just, let me do some multiplication here. If I was to FOIL this out, I'll leave the a here. On the numerator, I'm looking at x squared plus 2x minus 24. And on the denominator, I'm looking at x squared plus 9x plus 20. And right now, if I just focus on these two lead terms, you can see that basically I have an x squared over an x squared, which gets me to 1 for the end behavior, but really I, I want it to be 7. So what that means is that my a value must be 7. So as I go to really finish this problem off, if I scooch over here, I know f of x, I have my stretch factor of 7, I've got x minus 4, x plus 6 on the numerator, and I've got x plus 4, x plus 5 on the denominator, and that meets all of those traits. Now, I'm fine if you leave your answer this way. The book tends to finish this off, and by finish this off, I mean it'll go through and actually multiply everything out. I don't need that, but if you wanted to match the book answer, that's what they did. They foiled everything through, and you can see all the algebra work here, and they arrive at this rational function. All right, thanks so much. Bye.